Hi everyone and welcome to this vlog. I kind of wanted to dedicate a video to like how I style my hair, what products I use, all of that like curly hair stuff. So today I did my lazy wash routine which basically is when I wash my hair and put it in a bun and then the next day I will basically style it and do my curly wash and go. So I'm going to show you guys the products that I used to um, wash and condition my hair today and then we're gonna basically put it in a slick bun and it's basically my go-to hairstyle when I want to look cute but at the same time don't have the time to style my hair so to wash my hair I use the Bokla May hydrating hair cleanser and this is a non foaming cleanser perfect if you want to co-wash or you don't want to use anything harsh on your hair which I basically started paying a lot of attention to if you have curly hair you might want to pay attention to the shampoos that you're using and make sure that you shampoo like twice a month like once every other week instead of every week which is what I basically do um, and today I use this hair cleanser it basically does the job it cleans my scalp without it drying my hair which is really important and then for conditioner I was experimenting with this one it's from cream of nature and it's their argan oil from Morocco intensive conditioning treatment and I don't like this product and I tried using it like three times because when you introduce a new product to your hair you need to try it a few times before you can decide whether you like it or not which is why it takes me time to like review products but basically this did not leave my hair soft which is like a big thing for me like I need my hair to be nice and soft and this kind of like left it a bit dry do you know that squeaky clean feeling that you get from like using a shampoo or like a conditioner that has like chemicals in it literally that's how it feels it smells great though and I don't know if it'll work on your hair like if you have a different texture than mine I use the Denman brush to like brush out my hair always I'm also gonna use it to do my bun I'm gonna use this product which is Eco Beyond and it says that it's a curling essence but honestly it does nothing for my curls and products like that that don't actually work with my hair I usually keep them and use them to style my hair if I'm like putting it in a bun or like slicking it back which is exactly what I did today so after I washed and conditioned my hair rinsed that off I used this on my hair to basically add some moisture while it is in a bun and then to slick back my hair you guys know that you need a gel I'm gonna be using the eco gel and I've used this a few times honestly the best gel for slicking back hair if you guys have like other recommendations for gels that work as well as the eco gel let me know but so far like I have not used a better um, styling gel or even like I use it on my edges to like style my edges so 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 good and obviously I'm gonna use a toothbrush to um, do my baby hairs and edges so now I'm gonna sit down and show you guys how I slick back my hair and do my bun Okay, so you're just gonna take your Denman brush or any other brush that you use and then you're just gonna like brush your hair back just to basically see what you're working with. If you wanna brush your hair, you can go ahead and brush your hair. Make sure you never, never, ever brush your hair completely dry. Like make sure it's either damp or soaking wet when you're brushing it. And then I take like a little bit of product because I already put a lot in my hair. Um, and then I just like smooth the top and then I'm gonna take my gel It feel open because my hands are slippery right now. I need to just like pre-open all my products before I touch my hair We got it. So you're gonna take a lot of gel <laughs> and I mean a lot of gel and you're just gonna put it mainly focus it on the top of your head because you want this bun to be nice and Licked. You can add more. I tend to have problems like here on the sides. I get a lot of hair scaping from the sides because I think my bangs are like this long right now so they tend to like stick out if I don't gel them properly. You can use as much gel as you want. Do not shy away from the gel. And you might want to also put some here on the sides. And then we're just going to like brush. So I will usually like brush this part up. 
and then brush this part this way as well and then this part I'll brush it up like so and then this part I'll just brush it this way and then you want to brush the back up and then once you're happy you can just go ahead and tie it all up And then twist it like all the way through like so and then twist it in the back as a bun as you guys can see it's not perfect so I'm just gonna do this off camera and come back okay, so now that I've secured it in a bun I'll just go over it with my brush to make sure everything is nice and smooth and then I'll do this trick where I take another hairband and then I'll literally just like squeeze everything up as if I'm gonna put it in a bun again and then just like secure it three times. And what this is gonna do, it's literally gonna make it look like your bun is nice and tight. I'm just gonna turn around so you guys can see what it looks like. So it's like nice and secured. And then you want it to be like slightly high now you look like an egghead, <laughs> but a cute egghead. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to take the gel, dip our toothbrush in it, and then just like slick back as much as you can. I'll take my brush and then I'll kind of like brush this bit that looks like a widow's peak. Let's just call it a widow's peak for the sake of this video. And then I'm just going to like brush it like so... And then I'm just gonna do the rest of my baby hairs. So I sometimes like bring some of it down, but make it look like it's part of the bun. Honestly, take your time doing your baby hairs and then once they're done, they just look nice and sleek, like so. And then you just wanna like, you know, like get rid of all that product on your hands. Um, I also wanted to show you guys what I've been doing with my lips lately. So I have been using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. Um, so I'm using like two shades. One is 604 and one is 610. So dramatic. And what I've basically been doing is that I'll mix these two as lipstick and then I'll apply like a lip gloss on top and this is like the Fenty Gloss Balm. Um, so literally I'll just like outline my lips and it looks so natural because like my lips are like two-toned and then i'll literally just like go over the darker bit with the pencil to define that and then define the top and then take the lighter shade and then kind of like mix it So it literally looks like my lips but better and then I'll go over it with the gloss balm and I'm sure you guys can see how natural it looks and I've been like obsessed with this lip combo I'm gonna link it below if you guys want to get your hands on it anyway so I have like a full day today I have to go to an event with Laura Mercier they're basically launching their new tinted moisturizer and then after that I'm just gonna go to a coffee shop and get some work done and then I have a nail appointment I've been doing the miracle repair with n bar where they basically like treat your nails to make sure that your nails are not like cracking and broken um, so I have an appointment today and I'm also gonna get um, I'm also gonna get a manicure and maybe a pedicure I'm not sure um, and then after that I am gonna come back home and finish up some work so so let's get the day started and get to this event I'm already dressed I'm gonna show you guys my outfit right now all right so this is my outfit let me just put my bag down um, I'm just wearing this top from Tommy Hilfiger these pants are from Bershka. I used to wear them all the time. And then I'm wearing my Adidas um, Samba Rose. I don't know why the lighting is like dark. So I'm on my way right now. My camera literally died on me while I was doing my outfit um, details. So I had to like charge it real quick, do like a little bit of work, and then I let it charge for like 30 minutes and now I'm on my way looking like a proper egghead um, but yeah we're gonna hit this event stay for like an hour um, I think it's enough time for me to like check out the products and like 
say hi to the the team and then just be on my way go to a coffee shop and work i want to go to costa and then just get like an iced latte and get some work done before my nail appointment so they've got the setup here and basically you shop products and then i think you go to the back to eat or to get matched i'm not really sure for baking you can use by back also by brush and especially if you have more like uh, if you can I just got my shade matched and basically I'm gonna go with these two ganache and tan because I'm too dark for tan and I'm too light for ganache so I'm gonna mix the two and I'm gonna create a look with this and show you guys but this is what the bottles look like I found my Somali girls because like usually this doesn't happen <laughs> so now I'm just like eating some food and catching up with my okay look at you okay <laughs> catching up with my girl here Somali gang um, so yeah let me show you guys what I'm eating I don't know what this is but it's I think it's almond croissant but he said it's not croissant but it tastes like croissants huh? mm -hmm. it's almond <laughs> Oh my Christmas, I know. And I've got my cappuccino here, and then I've also got this parfait thing. We've got fruit platter. We're basically living it up, and I ordered avocado toast. What'd you order, by the way? Stop laughing. Well, I, she's so normal. And then I turn on the camera, and she just like starts laughing. I ordered smoked, smoked salmon. You ordered what? Smoked salmon. What? I don't know. If it's <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Look at my hand. Like, it's like my Where finger. Is Where's the food? This is I'm how rich people eat. I'm really hungry. <laughs> this is how rich food? people eat. <laughs> yeah, when she put it down, like, in your face, you were like, oh, okay. So I'm in Gay Village, and the venue, sorry, and bar is somewhere else, like near my house, though. So I'm just gonna like walk. But I'm just annoyed that I came all the way here. I just need to find a bathroom so I can brush my teeth and put my aligners back in and then I'll head over but it'll mean that I'm gonna be late to my appointment which at this point I genuinely don't care I'm just gonna get there when I do oh my god so many old guys here and they keep staring at me and I'm kind of like I'm not interested I'm not a sugar baby like a lot of businessmen in suits are like staring at me like waiting for me to like say something or like they're just waiting around to say something to me I'm kind of like dude <laughs> so we're here I took my contacts off because I just needed to see better I don't know just something weird about me wearing contacts I just feel weird about wearing them all day so I have to like take them off if I don't need to take pictures. But basically, you guys, like, basically, let me update you on that situation at fucking Gate Village. Like, these old ass men. So I sat down, right? And because I wanted to, like, connect to the Wi Fi so I can know where I'm going. And I'm sitting at this restaurant and like all these old men keep walking by me so slowly trying to make eye contact like just slowly and I'm kind of like not looking at them but then I can see them looking and like wanting to talk to me and then eventually this old ass guy like he must have been 50 or something stops in front of me and he goes like hey so I look up at him and then he goes like hi and he's like smiling at me What happened? It's a vlogging camera. It's fucking mall security telling me I can't fucking vlog. Nigga, I'm vlogging. Out here interrupting my story time. Anyways, <laughs> so this old ass guy is like, hey. And then I look at him, I'm just like looking at him like. And then he just walks away. Like he felt intimidated. 
and he walked away. I don't know if I'm going the right way, you guys. Oh, there it is. I found it. Let me just like finish my story time. I'm just like staring at him and then he walks away. And then I noticed that every fucking old man was just like walking past me slowly. So I just gathered my belongings and I started walking away. I'm like, I'm not interested in a sugar baby situation, first of all. Second of all, like I know I'm 27, but a lot of people tell me that I look 20 or 21. So I'm like, your old 50 year old ass is trying to hit on a young girl. Like, like don't you have a daughter? Do you want like a 50 year old to hit on her? Disgusted, I'm disgusted. Anyways, let me go get my nails done. This is the new in bar salon. I'm excited that they opened one near my house. They look so good. I'm really happy I got my nails done. Okay, so now I'm gonna go home. I don't know if I can vlog once I get home because I'm not really doing anything and I have something that I need to submit like ASAP. But yeah, I think I'll just like end today's vlog here and then basically vlog tomorrow where I'll actually do my hair routine and show you guys how I get my curls and all of that my wash and go hi everyone just wanted to share with you the products that I got yesterday for the Laura Mercier event I just remembered that I never showed you guys so I got two shades from the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And then I've got like a lip liner, I've got a lipstick. She said this one is like one of their best sellers, Beige and Time. So I'm really excited to try it out. I also got a blush in Cur Royale. And the infamous Laura Mercier Setting Translucent Powder. Um, so I have to get ready for an event tonight with La Benjamins and Bloomingdale's. So I can just like do my makeup for you guys then using these products and then you guys can see how they work for today because i'm washing my hair well not washing my hair but basically styling it since i washed my hair last night i'm going to start with like this deep treatment um and this one is from biolage i've used one of their packets recently and they are amazing and what i did last time was i applied a little bit of this as deep conditioner left it in my hair for like 10 to 15 minutes and then rinsed only 20 percent of it so i left a lot of it in my hair and then i styled it using one of my styling creams so last time i used this one cherry almond um leave-in conditioner from aveda but then i'm running out and today i'm gonna use the ultra Daw from garnier and I'm also running out as you can see, but don't be scared. I have a whole new bottle that I bought the other day when I went um, to the grocery store. This is how much I love this product, like for real you guys. It's only like 18 dirhams I care for, so um, it's not gonna break the bank, but it is such a good product. The only problem is that I wish it was, it came in a bigger bottle, that way I wouldn't have to like keep purchasing it, but I promise you guys, for a drugstore, this stuff actually works. It hydrates your hair, it leaves your hair nice and soft, and it helps curl your hair. I am so sick of products that weigh down my hair and don't actually do anything for them. This is legit, like for real. I'm sure that a lot of you guys also know that Garnier has a lot of good um, deep conditioners as well that a lot of people recommend. But this is the truth, especially like since it's like a, a drugstore product. Like I'm actually really happy that there's a product that I can recommend to you guys that you can just like buy when you go to the grocery store. So I'm going to use this to uh, style my hair today. And then I'm going to show you guys what my hair is looking like. Okay, now that my hair is taken care of, I'm just going to add moisture back to my face because I feel like my face has been like so, so dry recently. And I need a sheet mask and you guys know my good old face shop face masks that's like a mouthful face shop face masks sheet masks face shop sheet masks sheet mask on I look crazy all right let's do this okay so now I just have to like clean up a little bit because my room is looking a little crazy I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna grab some breakfast take the sheet mask off yesterday I fucked up and I ordered Wendy's and I know I shouldn't have done that but I needed it and now I have like the evidence the proof that I've eaten junk food I just need to get rid of this so it's not a constant reminder in my face I don't know why I even put this t-shirt under the 
What was wrong with me last night? What was I going through? Okay guys, so I'm done with breakfast. I'm just like finishing my coffee. But I don't think I'm gonna diffuse my hair right now. I'm just gonna like let it air dry for a little bit. Styling it in the shower is so, 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 so much easier because you literally sit in the bathtub and then you just like wet your hair and then you take the piece that you're trying to style you take some of the leave-in conditioner the one i showed you guys from um garnier ultra doll you take some of it you put it in your hair you don't scrunch it you don't do none of that okay you just put it in your hair you take a little bit more water you style your hair so you should never ever ever style your hair when it's like not soaking wet like it has to be dripping dripping soaking wet that's the best way to style it so and then i basically put the products in my hair like literally put the product in my hair and then just like separate the curls and that's it and then i do that to my entire head and then when i'm done i take the front bits like these and then like this part basically i focus on and i'll literally like finger twist it so i literally go like this and then they literally come out like that when you finger twist it and then they they dry like super curly which is like important for like the front part of your head because you want this part to be defined and then the rest underneath cannot like it doesn't have to be defined which is like a little tip and then before i come out of the shower i'll literally like squeeze the water out by scrunching my hair and that's the only time you should scrunch your hair to get the water out so while styling your hair don't scrunch it do not scrunch it and also by the way like if you feel like your curls are not like popping popping you can finger twist all of them which is gonna take forever but that's like a good way to also like style your curls i only like focus on the top bit um so yeah before you come out of the shower just scrunch the water out and mainly focus on the ends you don't have to do that to uh, the roots and then basically when you're out of the shower just take some paper towels or even take like a t-shirt if you don't have paper towels and then just like squeeze the water out just focus on the ends and then that's it i'm gonna show you guys how i diffuse my hair basically this is my philip hair dryer you can use any hair dryer and then this is an international diffuser which means that it will fit on any blow dryer and i basically switch this on put it on medium heat and then literally this is how I diffuse my hair. I just hold the hair dryer like this and then I just keep moving around my hair. Do not touch your hair. Do not do this. Like do that when you're just like put your hair in it and then you do this. Don't do that. It does nothing for your hair but basically ruin your curls so that your, your curls will come out frizzy. So for any of you guys who want to avoid frizz, don't do this. Don't touch your hair when you're drying it. The only time you can touch your hair when you're drying it is just to lift it so you can get the bottom bits. And then this is how you dry the bottom bits. And then you let your hair down. And then once you feel like the top is mostly dried, you can flip your hair over and then dry with the diffuser. And then dry with the diffuser um, on the back of your head. I, for like day one hair, I don't separate the curls. I don't do much to my hair. I'm watching Love Island too, by the way. It's so shit. The Australian Love Island is so shit. I don't know why I'm just like watching it, but it's garbage. Garbage. My lips are so, so dry. It needs to stop. I need to get ready right now. And like I promised you guys, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier products that I got yesterday. Um, like I said yesterday, they were launching the tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier and it says that it has SPF 30, um, it has a modernized formula and 24 hour hydration for the first time ever. I'm going to use all Laura Mercier products. I know it's like unrealistic for everyone to like have everything from one brand, but because I do have everything from Laura Mercier, I thought I should just like try everything together and then see how they all like kind of like fit together because i also have a primer from laura mercier and then i have these two one is like a like a bronzing powder and then one is like a illuminating powder right, so i'm going to start with the primer i'm just going to put this all over my face and then we can begin I know that the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizers are very, very famous. I've actually never tried one. Um, so this will be like my first time trying their tinted moisturizers. Shake it. I 
I don't know if you should use your fingers or like a, a brush or a beauty blender but I'm just gonna use the beauty blender so I'm just gonna like set under my eyes have you guys like tried the tinted moisturizer before how do you guys apply it like with your fingers do you apply it with a beauty blender with a brush what's the tea now I'm gonna try the blush they gave me curve royale how pretty is that like that's gorgeous and then I'm just gonna put it on my cheeks and I'm just gonna go with it so for my lips I'm gonna use red chocolate which is like a lip liner and then I'm gonna use the beige intimate which is a lipstick sorry about the lighting you guys it's uh we're losing natural light so so I'm done getting ready this is the final look look how defined my curls are like I actually don't want to tease them anymore like usually I'll tease my hair and make it into a fro but now I'm kind of like you know what let me just wear my hair out like this today at least while it's like day one curls so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit real quick okay so this is what I'm wearing this top is from Damn, where did I get this top from? I think it's from Miss Pap. It's like a bodysuit, but I've had it for ages. And then these pants are new. They're from uh, Urban Outfitters. And I really want to get a pair because this is a sample. And I love them so much. So I think I'm going to actually buy them from Urban Outfitters. And then I'm wearing my Adidas sneakers that I was gifted for their latest event. And yeah, this is the fit. Oh, and my bag is from MCM. I'm going to the mall, but I kind of want to look like I have put in an effort since I'm going to an event. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cute, cute outfit. It's a cute ass outfit. I'll see if I can get a picture in it, <laughs> but if I can't, then oh wells. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head out to the event and then I'm gonna check in with you guys when I get there. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> oh, we're trying to eat. Sorry, guys, but I'm not vlogging. But you know how it is when you're in good mess. company. Oh, I've got the not the big boy lemonade, but I've got a lemonade. She got the same thing as me, and then she got boring old Coke that nobody wants to. <laughs> so, anyways, we just sat down at um, Cheesecake Factory to eat, and now we're just talking. And conversation is too good, I'm so I'm gonna thing. leave you guys. Ending the vlog here. Oh, actually, no, I'm vlogging tomorrow, so I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Can you say bye? And it's the next day. I wanted to show you guys how I refresh my curls. So last night, I just literally went to sleep in my makeup, which is really bad, which also meant that I did not wrap my hair, which I usually do. I usually use this like silk bonnet to like wrap up my hair, but I didn't do that. And now I'm kicking myself because my curls are like a bit dry, but it's okay. That's fine. You know, frizz is part of curly hair and you just need to accept it. I usually use a scrunchie, but make sure you use the silk scrunchie. I currently don't have one, but I'm going to get one soon. Take my hair out of the scrunchie. And as you guys can see, 
um this bit of my oh wait, let me show you like this this bit of my hair is like a bit straight um so i lost the curl pattern literally all you need is water so this is like a bottle and i just put water in it there's nothing in it no product nothing just water i'll literally like just spritz my hair like this the bottom and then the front and then that's it like don't touch the top bit just like the bottom to like refresh the curls you're just gonna basically bring your curls down and then just scrunch it up to encourage the curls gotta encourage your curls fluff your hair down like so i think i'm just gonna like pick through my hair let me show you guys how i do that so this is the hair pick if i find it i'm gonna link it below but i literally just bought it from care for so so you literally just like put it in your hair and then just pick it as if like you're brushing your hair but you want to stop just like an inch away from your scalp and then you want to do that to the rest of your head you want to do that to the sides like i said this will make your hair bigger but then it also cause a little bit of frizz so if you're ready for that go ahead if you're not then minimize touching your hair like the less you touch your hair the less frizz you get over here we love frizz so we literally don't care this is what i do anyways i got ready to go to the mall to hang out with my friend um and we're just gonna basically get something to eat and hang out at the mall and then after that i'm just gonna go and sit at a coffee shop and then just like edit this vlog so i can have it ready for you guys on sunday so i'm at the coffee shop right now editing this vlog that you guys are watching i got pumpkin spice latte because it's the season for pumpkin spice lattes so basically this is me signing off hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did make sure to subscribe more videos coming comment below your questions if you have any hair related questions 